Welcome back everybody. As you can probably guess from the title of the video today, we're going over Olight's April flash sale. And uh, no matter what I do with Olight videos, I get a lot of hate comments, but one that I've gotten in the last three pretty commonly was that I was releasing the videos too late uh, because folks who are VIP members with Olight um, had already you know, had a chance to purchase them. So we're gonna switch it up this time. I'm gonna release this video. If you guys are watching this right now, uh, if you are a VIP member over at Olight, then everything is already for sale. If you're not a VIP member, then those sales will start, I believe, on the 15th. All that information should be here on your screen, as will be uh, prices, technical data, bundle details, those sorts of things that always go along with these sales. So I'll walk you through the lights real quick, and then after that, we're gonna check out the beam pattern. So this one here, obviously, is the Warrior Pro X. It has the desert sunset finish on it, so it's kind of like a bronze-ish here, all the way down to black. Uh, this is considered a tactical light, I would agree with that. Uh, has that USB rechargeable tail cap, which is also a gas pedal tail cap, so you can press and hold uh, on low, and then, push it all the way out and then release. And if you want constant on, same thing, just click it. So it is very intuitive in that regard. We have our large heat sinks on there. Clip here is removable if you want to weapon mount it. It does have a one inch body if you choose to do so. Everything is O-ring sealed. I have a video on these where I just torture, test them, drop them, all of those sorts of things. They've been fine. Uh, this one here, of course, as will another light here, takes the uh, 21,700 uh, rechargeable 5,000 milliamp battery, very, very powerful. And again, I mentioned USB rechargeable. Almost all of these options here today will be. The other light option that I think a lot of my audience is gonna be interested in is this one right here in both colors. So this is the Baldor RL, meaning red laser. Uh, so the brown one on the FTE finish here is a limited edition just for this sale, and they probably will sell out relatively quickly. And the black one will be in continual um, runs that you'll be available for a while so this obviously is a weapon light we did some shooting with this one already and had zero issues with it this has been out previously with a green laser this is the first time they're offering it with red uh, you guys again are going to see the beam, beam comparisons and stuff like that uh, a little bit later on in the video but it comes with a glock insert it also comes with a 1913 rail insert that you can switch out and it very quickly locks into place and you can adjust where it sits on the pistol when it's in the open position so that way regardless of what gun you have if you have a 1913 or a glock uh, compatible rail you can slide it in there and get it wherever you want it to be for your ergonomics um, the windage and elevation adjustment is tight so it's not super detenty which i kind of wish it would be um, but it's also not loose and in the shooting we did we had 300 rounds through it we had zero movement at all with the zero so it stayed zero which is good and um, there is that comes with the allen keys for that as well these are also usb rechargeable on the bottom here they make holsters for these and we'll put links down below for that as well um, where you can actually have your gun in the holster and still recharge it which is pretty cool it has this little bar here on the back which right now it's in light only mode. So light only, as you guys can see, then you can switch it over and go light and laser. You probably won't be able to see that here on the camera because it's gonna wash it out, but you can also push it over here to just laser. And you guys can see that there with just the laser. So you can pick which mode you want. And one thing that's nice about it is the laser is at the top. So it's closer to your bore access. So it was a good, good thought out, well thought out rather design on that one then next up here we have the m2r pro warrior very similar in construction to the warrior x but it's more of an edc light um, it still has that rechargeable tail cap and gas pedal operation low high uh, but it also has a side button here that you can run through many many different modes so again for like edc type use if you just want low and you want that longer battery life it gives you that option whereas uh, this one's only going to give you low and high. This one gives you a bunch of intermediate settings. It's also a little bit slimmer, uh, so that way carrying it in a pocket or something like that would be a little bit more comfortable. It has that two-way clip, which is removable. Same battery as the other one. It also comes with the ability to add a lanyard if you want to do that, and it comes with a case uh, for your belt as well if you're into that. Uh, additionally, we have the O-Bulb, which this is an interesting product. These are steel. This is a magnetic rechargeable tail cap, and then these are like my opinion, I kind of look at them for like camping or like closets or something like that that you don't have a light in or a cupboard or a safe. Um, and if that's the case, then you can just press and hold it and get light and you can work through different modes, which we'll show you here in a second. 
and there you go. But it uh, gives you good situational awareness in small spaces and it lasts a long time for the battery. And you can mount this up. It has that 3M tape on there and you stick it to it and leave it in place wherever you want it. Uh, lastly, they have the uh, new baton, which is this guy here. The one with the sail is gonna be orange for this flash sail. I don't have one though. So we're using my blue as a stand-in for the baton three, but it's 1200 lumens and super compact as you guys can see. And they come with this thing here, which is a uh, charging case. And there you, go. you guys can probably see that little red light that came on there. And then it also works as a battery pack and you charge it there with the USB-C and you can use it as a charger for your cell phone or something like that if you want, or vice versa, uh, just to charge your flashlights. And the geese are coming in crazy, they're coming in hot. And lastly, we have this guy here, which is the i5T EOS with their new camo finish on there. It is powered by a standard battery. So that's one thing Oop, going for him. That's one thing I know a lot of folks like with that double A compatibility, but as I say in every one of these videos, unfortunately it is a low high interface, which some guys may like. So your first mode is low and then high, low, high. So for me, I wish it was a high low interface for more sort of tactical use. That way when you put it out, you'd get the maximum amount. And then if you wanted to drop it down after that for a you know non-tactical type of use, you could, but unfortunately that is not the case. But again, takes AA batteries, dudes dig it, and it has that two-way clip, so you can put it on a baseball cap, any of those things if you want to work hands-free. But that is pretty much it. All of the prices should have been here on your screen, and uh, technical data, and all of those sorts of things. There is an affiliate link down below in the video description if you guys want to pick anything up from this sale. Um, they do not pay me to do these videos, though, but again, it is an affiliate link, and do get credit for that. And uh, we're going to let the sun go down a little bit more, and then we're going to check out the beam patterns. The sun has gone down and now we're going to check out the beams. So what you're looking at right now is the output from the Warrior X Pro. And this one here is on low right now. That spot there where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 feet away. And then the trees back there are 40 to 50, depending on the actual tree. Again, on low here, you can see a really nice hot spot in the middle. So we're going to have a lot of candela. I think this thing's over 60,000 60, candela. Again, I put that up earlier in the video when we bump it on high like that right there. I have my cam camera rather on manual, so it's as close as what I see to my human eye as possible through a camera. And you guys can see it has that edge there. The thing is designed for candela for sure, but still has some spill to it, as you guys can see. And here we have the M2R Warrior Pro on high. You can see the hotspot's not quite as intense. Uh, I think this one's like 22 or 23,000 candela and way more spill. So like I was saying earlier, kind of a more general purpose uh, EDC type light, but still has plenty of, you know, quote unquote, tactical, tactical capability as well. And you guys can get a good idea there, the beam pattern. And one thing this has, again, is those multiple modes. So we'll click the little side button and work through. This is moonlight. I don't know if you guys can see that there on your camera, but if you just want really extended uh, battery life, this will definitely do it and then just work through the different modes there, as you guys can see. And again, anytime, if you click that tail cap, it goes back to high. Now you have the output from the Baldor RL and the red laser. Uh, one thing that typically happens out here, whenever we're showing a laser, to my human eye, it's way, way, way brighter uh, and attention grabbing than it is on camera. But uh, I'm not sure how to come across here, but I'm sure that's probably the case because that tends to be how it works. But you guys can see a diffused hotspot and a really wide spill. So you're getting a lot of situational awareness, which a lot of folks like for pistol type lights um, because obviously they're intended to be used at relatively close distances, but this thing's got some throw, you know, 5,000-ish candela is not anything to laugh at. There's a lot of weapon lights that were made before like 2013, 2014 that couldn't even come close to it. So there is that output. Again, if you wanted to switch it over to be laser only, there you go, you have that option. And of course you can just do light only with no laser as well. And here we have the output from the Baton 3 using that side switch, because that's the way it functions. And you can see the different modes there. And if you want to get all of the output, you just double click that side switch like we did there. And that is the high mode for it there. Pretty impressive output for a light of its size and weight. I really have to say it's always been the case with the Batons, but I mean, at any point you can go from any mode, again, just double click, 
and there you are on high. But if you want to conserve battery and just use a little bit lower of a brightness mode, it has a few to offer as well. Now you guys are looking at the output from the i5T, again, that AA powered light. Of course, it comes on low, which is what we're in right now, and you can go to high. Again, it is not gonna be a super high output, but it's a relatively small uh, light, and again, takes the AA batteries. Again, low, high. Earlier in the video, I forgot to mention the iPen, which is also on sale. It's a pretty cool device here. It obviously is a pen. It can also be used as a tactical pen because it is all aluminum and would definitely do some damage if you inserted it into someone's body. Um, but it also has a built-in light here. And uh, that fence right now is probably about four or five feet from me. And you can see the different intensity levels there from the pen. And I'll tell you the low is brighter than an iPhone, just to give you a, like a frame of reference, at least my iPhone, I have an iPhone 12. And uh, yeah, you can see there, it's definitely got some output for something this small, and it is USB rechargeable as well, which is pretty cool. And then to see the old bulb, again, on low, you guys can see the kind of output that you would get there from, again, about five feet away, and then get it on high, much, much brighter. And again, anything within this area, you can identify very easily. And then if you're out camping or something like that and you want that red light to not be so harsh on your eyes, you have that. And then if you wanted the beacon, you have that as well. Once again, for the new folks here across the lake is about 110 yards away from where the camera is right now, at least the edge of the waterline anyway. And here we have the Warrior X Pro. And you guys can see that 60,000 candela light and everything up pretty darn well out there. And we have our rosemary bush down here in the lower right of your screen. And it's still illuminating that as well. But like that little shack right there, it's hard to tell on camera, but if somebody was standing in that door, I'd very easily be able to see them without question. Uh, be able to spot animals, birds, and stuff like that in the trees uh, quite easily. Whereas with the M2R, not quite as much candela, but definitely more spill, as you guys can see on the edges of your screen as we move it around. Again, the M2R there, and then the Warrior X there. You guys can see it's just a lot more intense. But either way, they're both pretty good throwers. Last one up there is that Baldor that you guys can see there. Again, it's about 5,000 candela, a little under it, I think, actually. Um, but it does give you um, some situational awareness at that distance, for sure. Again, the little shack there, I'd be able to tell if somebody was outside, whether or not somebody was inside, if I could see them through the door. Probably not. Um, but... Uh, you kind of lose the laser at that distance, but I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. But down here on my lawn here, I can very, very brightly see it um, without question. There's good contrast on it. But when we get across the lake, you, you lose it. You can't use it at that distance. But again, that's, you know, whatever, over 300 feet away. So most folks aren't going to be taking pistol shots at that distance. But that, with that, guys, that's really all we have there for you. Uh, that's going to end today's video. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the lights, lasers, anything like that that we've used throughout the video, by all means, you can uh, post them down below in the comments section. The best place to reach me is still over at my Facebook page. I don't always see all the messages over there, but I do see most of them, I think, anyway, and I do respond to all the ones I do get over there. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.